Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Apopedia and I am Ratan Priya. So this video is highly requested by my subscriber to get better understanding on Data Raptor. So here I am and I love to help them out. So before going to make this video, I did some research on the Data Raptor on YouTube and I saw there is so many videos are out there that discuss the definition of the Data Raptor and basic tasks which already discussed in the documentation and PDF as well as straight course. So I will not discuss the similar task and waste your time and my time. So I am come with a exclusive task on Data Raptor that will help you to make better understanding and get knowledge on implementation of Data Raptor that will help you in the real time project. So before going to start that task, I will give you one line definition on the Data Raptor. Data Raptor is nothing but it's a tool to extract data from one or more Salesforce object or by using Salesforce object. So without wasting the time, let's do this task together. So before going to start this task, first you have to get the knowledge and get understanding on what is the task. So the task is we need to fetch all the product details from code by using Data Raptor. So what is our source object here? It's a code. And what is our destination object? That is product details. Okay, that object is product too. So before going to use that task and create a data raptor, we need to understand which object is linked with which object using which middle intermediate object. So as you know, quote does not link directly to the product. There is one use of quote line item object between this code and product so this is the intermediate object so for that we need to check is code line item have the product or not so let's search the code line item i am back with that we have to click, click setup and then we have to go into the object manager and just write it in the search box code line item and search okay this is the code line item and we need to go into the field and relations and then we have to check if the product object is there or not let's search the product product 2 should be there so as you can say product and our field name is product 2 this is the object this is the field so field is showing in the code line item the object name is product 2 don't be confused between these two okay so now we got the link now let's create the first code if it is there in your playground don't create it again as i have that and if you wanted to create it so before going directly going to create a code we need to create first opportunity so we have to go into the opportunity from there not we can go we need to go into the app launcher and then we have to go into the opportunity we will go into the opportunities okay now inside the opportunity there uh, if opportunity is also not created in your playground you can click here and you have to fill all the details required details is a stage close date and then it will create opportunity and then it you have to open the opportunity and then you can create a code if this is the lo longest way to create a code because if some playground does not have directly to create a code like there is no any button because why because code needed one opportunity that is a mandatory field to be create that code okay so that's why i'm saying you we have to go to the opportunity and then whatever the steps i told you that we need to follow so this is not the basic video so let's move to the that particular task as i already have have that code so let's see if code line item have some product or not as you can see we already have two product so i will not add more product you just have to create a uh, add to product and any product you need to select and then uh, save and save then next and then you have fill one quantity what quantity you needed for a particular product if you select it will come with that oh i just click that as a two product is enough for checking that data raptor so let's move to the data raptor now we have to go velocity data raptor designer and we have have to create a new data raptor as this page is loaded so we need to create click on the new and data raptor keep the data raptor name i just keep demo use demo use data raptor any name you can choose okay and then interface type as we are fetching the data of the product object so we will use the extract on it trouble extract and load transform we will discuss later on if they needed to be discussed if the subscriber asked for it then i will definitely make this videos on the other types of interface okay let's save this one and then okay so now as you can see there is so five tab is there extract formula output option preview so uh, these are the basic things 
you have all the resources given out there so you can go and read all these things uh, let's use of this uh, you can see here so let's add the extract step so what is our source object source object is nothing but quote okay as you can see quote having the link with the quote line item and that quote line item having the link with the product so firstly what is the basic and uh, primary key to be check quote having the quote line item is not so what firstly we have to check if quote is present or not like obviously so for that reason you have to write for for extract output anything you can write any uh, either a b c d also but uh, just write the relevant name for the key so i write quote details and the basic thing we can check the primary key to check the quote is present or not it's a id okay so now we have to check a particular id so let's open the quote and then we will fetch the id and then we will check it it's a simple thing to be understand if quote is not present you cannot able to fetch any quote line item okay and if quote line item is not there you cannot able to fetch any product using the quote right so for that reason we need to check if somehow quote is present or not so we will use the similar quote so we will directly hard coded the id there is so many ways to be put that id or you can use inter integration procedure to get the id from integration procedure and again use to be omni script to get that id so i will not uh, use that whole line that was uh, another task okay so i just hard coded that id so now for the first line we will check the quote id whatever the id is given that should be present right if there then we will what we will check next then we have to check quote line item let's add check the quote line item so this is object quote line object we added and what is the extract output should be quote line item let's uh, write proper line to be that that will help you to be understand what things are getting in the output okay i kept quote line item details okay now so now we have to add the quote line id now we have to check quote line id should be checked with that quote line item id right so quote line item id which id we will check because the similar quote having one quote having the quote line item then id should be the common one right now we have to check this id with this id and this id will check with th that will come in the output so what will the output the output is quote line sorry quote details colon id right now we will write colon id that will be our output right for the first object line so now we will get that quote line item id as well so now we have to check product is there or not if there then we will fetch the all details of the product so what is a product object product 2 now we have to write start output path i will write product details directly product details and then filter should be now we have to check id so id will be the constant because if the product id we will check is come under the product 2 id that means the product if product is not created then it will not added into the quote line item if should be present in the product 2 then only we can add into the quote line item so that we need to check with one primary key that is a id so how we can check here so we need to compare with the extract output so that output come under line item detail line item details you have to write exactly the same okay that key because it's a key uh, there is having key is a case sensitive so you need to write exactly the same just copy it and paste here and now we have to compare with product 2 id because product 2 object content all the product i don't know why this is coming like that now we have to add the colon and then we have to check product 2 id okay in that manner product it should be product 2 and product 2 will this is the id product 2 is the object name and product 2 having product 2 id okay now we have to go into the output so in this way we write all the queries that we wanted to be get all the product details now we have to go into the output let's add plus button now click the plus button formula we don't needed any formula inside the product what you wanted to be fetch the all details so let's fetch the id first and keep id here you need to keep output should be id 
okay now output a uh, data type doesn't need it but uh, you wanted to get that then you have to keep a string and that's it now you have to again let's fetch the product details name okay let's keep the name and here also it should be name and then uh, doesn't needed any output data but as we wanted to check then we will keep it here string and again id came and now what was the now we can check product name and product id is also there uh, what at the output you needed to be check uh, that's enough i think so id and name is enough okay let's keep the product details is active it should be uh, boolean true or false so active keep active okay so we don't need we don't know what was the output so let it be for now it will come with that string only now it's done with that let's check this one it should be come with all the product details and inside the product details what what things we wanted to check in the output what what fields we kept that is id is active and product name so the once again we have to check so it should be come with the spotify product name and product id and is active or not it should be come with that so let's execute that one and here it is we done that 3g uh, data plan it is there and is 45 okay the id is also the same one if you wanted to check this one you need to go into the spotify one one product i will show you okay so and product id you need to go here and then it will come with the, this product id product 2 and then slash is there right the similar one so it's it uh, you can see q a a u it should be the similar one yeah so here it is it's done so one more thing i wanted to uh, add in this uh, data raptor if you keep the similar name of uh, product the key and the output both name is the similar one like here it id and id that is okay but if you wanted to check that one and here it is you also you can keep id let's say uh, it's not the quote line item some other object is there and you also keep that id here also and then also you keep the similar id is also here okay the key if it is the similar one then you have to check one thing overwrite target for all none input so that will help you to get overwrite that a uh, similar key name for getting the proper output so that option you can use here and formula if you wanted to uh, add some more uh, example or some more operations on this data raptor you can use it and this in this is a simple way and that will help you to use in the real time project and this is a small part of my project there we have to check that pro duplicate product code and uh, okay so product code also we can uh, fetch it let's add that product code just now i remember that so yeah so product code is there let's add that product code so pro code i will keep and then add this one so let's do execute and then you can see product code is also there so this is our real time pro uh, use of data raptor so that's it if you like my videos do subscribe to my channel and leave constructive feedback on my channel and if you wanted some more videos that on this uh, data raptor or some other topics let me know in the comment box till then stay tuned with me bye bye